We'll equip the emblem. Emblem then sends itself to the graveyard. Oh my God, yo. Hey, yo. Yo, I'm not gonna count. That was actually some cooking right there. That was some pretty big cook. Because he equipped the emblem, he can summon this monster, which is stronger than all my opponent's monsters. If he can't crack this board, we might have a chance. The King of Plunder Patrol is back, my guys. As you guys already know, I have a big dog, Pedro, who has been itching to show you guys how powerful Plunder Patrol is with the new monster in Plunder Patrol Ship Jord. Let's go ahead and read over what it does really quickly. Plunder Patrol Ship Jord. It says, if your opponent spells summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can add one Plunder Patrol card from your deck to your hand. Really, really good. Then, if this card was equipped with a Plunder Patrol card, you can spell summon one Plunder Patrol monster from your deck. Yo, it's a search and a summon? That's pretty good. You can target... This is the other effect. You can target one Plunder Patrol card in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and if you do, place this card in your Pendulum Zone. That's actually a really good starter effect, right? It's Pendulum Effect. You can declare one attribute, return this card to the extra deck, and if you do, special one Plunder Patrol token. Level four, level four, Fiend, zero, zero, with the attribute to both players, with that attribute to both players' side of the field. In defense position. So basically, apologize, I got myself mixed up. Basically what Jord does is that it opened up so many great combos for this deck. It allows you to be able to make an attribute on your opponent's side of the field that you as a plunder patrol player can interact with it's really really good let's see how pedro plays this game he's going second so camellia gets summoned camellia to send notoria sacred tree sacred tree activates it'll be able to get notoria blessing uh notoria blessing smash summon mole cricket mole cricket using camellia's effect they'll send two to be able to summon another camellia they'll synchro summon into natty b uh-oh we're in trouble And then Mole Cricket summons itself back to the side of the field, set one pass. So no spells can be activated here unless we get rid of this card. Then Mole Cricket could potentially summon a card named Notoria Sunflower and a phase down. This is actually kind of rough. We'll draw right of Aramis here. Didn't want to see it. We'll normal summon gold here. Our opponent will use Camellia. They milled the Sunflower. This is no bueno. We'll link off the, the hair into a Solomon Great Al Mirage. We'll trigger Golden Hair discarding Whitebeard to summon itself. Whitebeard probably will get negated. It will with Ash Blossom. Pedro, how are you getting out of this? How are you getting out of this? All right. We then link with both our Al Mirage and our White here. We're going to make a Blue Beard to our side of the field. Do we? I think we attack over the, the Sunflower, right? If he doesn't play like the Notoria Monster to stop attacks, I think we're Golden. Mole Cricket effect. Camellia to mill, and then they get the sub. God fucking damn it! They play it! Oh, unlucky. Naturia Vein allows us to tribute one Naturia monster. Oh no, that's a spell trap negation. Oh no, we're golden. He doesn't play the, the, the one to negate activations. Kelbeck then forces the sin five more. We'll go into battle phase, attack over the sunflower. Then we'll go Bluebeard effect to summon Jord. You guys are now about to watch the power of Jord here. They'll activate Medora in response. Oh, okay. I think they milled it. And then they'll go Sacred Tree. We'll attack over the Vein. Go into main phase two. We'll activate Short. They'll chain Sacred Tree to tribute off the Mole Cricket. Okay. They'll summon Sunflower again. So now they have their negation back online. And Short will allow us to get our Plunder Patrol ship, ship, shipping. It'll also place itself in the Pendulum Zone. Then we'll select Dark, summoning two monsters to the field. We'll activate Bluebeard to summon itself and link with those two monsters. We're going to make a Bluebeard, Blackbeard number two. I've been calling it Bluebeard. We'll go Bluebeard to discard. They'll chain Mole Cricket because they, we summoned a monster from the extra deck. So they get Mole Cricket back in rotor rotation. We're hoping to draw something. We'll draw Water Enchantress. Shape Ship Shipping then activates. We'll equip the Emblem. Emblem then sends itself to the graveyard. Oh my God, yo. Hey, yo. Yo, I'm not gonna count. That was actually some cooking right there. That was some pretty big cook. Because he equipped the emblem, he can summon this monster, which is stronger than all my opponent's monsters. If he can't crack this board, we might have a chance. All right. Our opponent's gonna draw for their turn. They're gonna crack the board, aren't they? 
That looks like nine. Don't be Trish. Don't be. Tr well, damn. Here's the Trish. We'll train them work, discarding the Bluebeard, targeting the Naturia Beast. They'll Sunflower the monster. Cool. Resolving. Sunflower will negate the Mork. Trishula will banish as much as possible. It'll banish the Blackbeard and our Shipyard from our hands. And now they'll activate a Jito, summoning itself alongside of the Kelbet. That is a whopping amount of damage, guys. That's 5,700? We'll normal summon another Kelbic. We're then going to link into the IP Mascarena. End phase. So, really good by Pedro. He was actually able to force his opponent to make a monster like Trish, even though we gave him some material. But we're able to break the Naturia Beast Sunflower lock. And now we're playing back to our game. We have our Adventure Guards. We just need Plunder Patrols online. We're going to draw Imperm. All right. Imperm the IP. Definitely should have used that in draw phase. He's going to respond with IP to link off. Ajito plus IP probably makes what? Sprite Elf? We'll activate Rite of Aramisir. We'll summon our adventure token. They'll chain the effect of Sprite Elf. They'll special summon the Naturia Sunflower. Then they'll use Naturia Sacred Tree to tribute off their Sunflower. Yoda's player is actually really good. They'll summon Mole Cricket. We'll get the Draco back. Unfortunately, it ain't much of a scopper from the Draco back. He'll then chain the effect of Mole Cricket. We have the strongest monster on the field, so they can summon two here. They'll summon Stink Bug and another Mole Cricket. We'll add Wandering Griffin Rider. Now, Stink Bug is the one that negates attacks. We'll then activate and summon Wandering Griffin Rider, banishing the Water Enchantress to get into the Rider of Air Maceer. Then activating Golden Hair, discarding the Draco back to summon itself. Drago back to equip to our token. Holy, we're cooking, guys. We'll then get rid of the Sprite Elf and then Link Summon. Holy, we're cooking, guys. We're going to... Oh, we're going to Synchro Summon back into Jord. You're going to see some Jord action again. Jord effect. Oh, no, they chain Mole Cricket. Duh. Jord effect. Address Whitebeard. Did we Normal Summon? We may not have Normal Summon. Then we'll give Tokens. Now, the Plunder Patrol token and the Griffin can be used for a Link Summon. Bro, he's cooking! We'll make Blackbeard summon Whitebeard. Make Mork. Mork discard the... the, the, the what is this card? The Emblem? Activate Shipyard? Discard the Aramisir. Get the, get, get the Black Eyes? Whoa! We'll get the blue beer by summoning the black eyes. Battle phase. Stink bug will protect the mole cricket. That's fine. I think we should have put the black eyes in attack, but our airboard was complete cook. You literally saw us come from nothing. We came from the bottom chat. Holy look at our board. Now we have interruptions guys. We have the morgue to be able to banish. He doesn't have a light monster in his graveyard. He doesn't have anything in his graveyard other than a dark monster. So we can't make our other plunder patrols. But because of our shipyard, uh, my, my apologies, not our shipyard. But because of our yord, we can actually create situations where we can summon our plunder patrol cards. Our opponent starts their turn and scoops. Holy shit. Hey, yo. Pedro, I need that deck list, dog. I need that deck list. We need that. We need that. So Pedro was showing us his deck profile for Plunder Patrol here. As you guys can see, there's three DD Crow, three Maxi. That's pretty good against Tier Limit, right? There's Water Enchantress, three White Beard, three Red Beard. Um, might be two Blue Beard. Oh, there's three Blue Beard, three Golden Hair, uh, three copies of Black Eyes, one Wandering Griffin Rider, one Change Your Heart. That's crazy. Foolish Burial, Terraforming, two Triple Tactics Talent. One shape ship shipping, two copies of Rite of Aramacier, two copies of Emblem, one Draco back, three copies of Shipyard, one copy of uh, Adventure, Faithful Adventure, two Call by the Grave, three Droplet, two Emperor. For the extra deck, there's two of the Fusion Plunder Patrol monster. I completely forgot. One White World Aura, one Draco Berserker, two Brawn, one copy of Resite, one copy of the Jord, the new Jord. 
one Abyss Dweller, two copies of Mork, one Solomon Great Almirage, and three copies of Blackbeard. That's pretty much it for his deck profile. I think it's really solid. Let me know what you guys think. And of course, if you guys have any replays you want to share with me, go ahead and contact us on email, giving us a description as well as your deck profile. And let's see what you got. I'll catch you on the next one.